Strauss? In grave danger? No way! Anyway, welcome back to another exciting episode of Quake 4. And when we last left off, we, uh, well, quote-unquote half the squad died, i.e. two guys. And, well, we were left with a task to meet up with Strauss and go blow up the Tetranode. Corporal Kane, you should have been here a long time ago. Oh, screw you. But we will speak of this later. That is the Tetranode. Ooh. Objective. Well, duh. The entire facility is centered around this room. Neat. We need to find the power plant. Lead the way. Okay, now if I was a power plant, where would I be hiding? Hold still. Perhaps behind the door with the giant green blinking lights. That's all I can do. Go now. Yep, that seems to make logical sense. So let's go. Now down there is just some health and armor, so we don't really need it. I'm not aware of any ammo down there. Not that I can remember anyway, so... We'll just go. Just go for it. Nothing big. And more of these things. Wow. They seem to be getting more and more numerous as we go deeper near the Tetranode. Although we're right next to it now. Yeah. And now they're just showing off. I mean, look at that. That's just elaborate for no good reason. And Strauss is getting in my way. Ooh! Crucified Marines. Dear God. They're monsters. Look at that, they got tubes in their arm. Well, actually, tubes for arms now. And yes, I know what you're all staring at. His giant bulging package. Alright, I'll shoot. What? Uh. <laughs> okay, apparently their bulges are made of metal. Look at that, you can even see it without even zooming in. I know, it's really hard to not stare. But you know what? Let's continue on. And not think about giant bulging packages. Another one of these things. Really wonder if we'll find out what those are later. Will we? Or will they just remain a mystery? Uh, now here's the power plant. As we were, you know, kind of on our way to. Neat little room. Pretty small for a power plant, really. Look at it. I mean, it's just a single room, but it's looks neat. Got a bunch of stuff in it. Some electricity. There. Now I will raise the power plant output, and that will cause a heat build up. Wait, you're kidding me. It's this Let easy? Us return to the tether mode. From there, we must find a way to disable the emergency shutoff. If we don't disable it, it will detect the heat build up and deactivate all systems. Now, why didn't we do this in the first place instead of giant, trying to take in giant hover truck things? that house these gigantic EMP bombs. Why didn't we just walk in and say, hey, let's do this method? This is really easy. I mean, honestly. I have to deal with some gladiators and all that, but overall, it's not that bad. God. Marine's got to be all flashy about everything. Now we get to do an FPS staple, as I like to think of it. Yes, that's right. Backtracking. Wait a minute, did one of those strong just jump off the edge? Into a new concept, orange. Wasn't quite too really orange. Anyway, let's continue on. Hey, give me some armor. I cannot work if you move around. In this level I tend to be a little more careless than I usual just because there's so much armor. It will, he can give us armor at any time and there's so much health laying around. Now we'll see. Let's look at one of those things up close. If these are, those are what I think they are. All right. Close trogs, no biggie. Now I think these are what those are. These are little repair droids. Um, I don't know. I'm not aware of any official name for them, but that's what they basically look like they're doing. Now these aren't scripted or anything, so it's kind of neat. We can actually shoot and blow them up. Pretty cool. Now down below me is actually a secret. There's just some armor and some nails and some shotgun shells. We don't really need it, so I'll just skip it for now. Don't want to need, don't want to make this any longer than it needs to be. As you can see, the you know the hyper blaster is pretty effective against a lot of things. 
See, they just give you health so frequently. It's almost impossible to die. Of course, I say that, and I have died in this section before. It's mostly due to my own fault, though. Due to him. Whoa, okay, I've never had him come close like this. Oh, this is bad. Ooh, that was close, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. That be was... Still, you are making my I don't gotta be still. Look at that. Go. My repairs are I'm like 15 feet away from you, and you can still do it. Oh, boy, lag. Hope that doesn't screw the video up. Now, I know there's more health around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Let's take some of that. Holy shit. <laughs> that thing almost got us, guys, but... Whoa! But we're okay. We're okay. Now I'll just take out some more grunts. Nothing big. Nothing worrisome. A giant loop. I don't know what their hard on is for giant loops. We'll see another one in a minute. Can't use this elevator until he's fully on it. Now we go. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? What happened to you? Your package! No! I know. I'm not trying to be fixated on the package. You just can't get the image of those other ones out of your head, can you? I know what you guys are thinking. Now, actually, here's something neat about these. Uh, hey, one's fat and one's not. Huh. Neat. Anyway, uh, what's kind of neat about these is the material is actually correct. For instance, if I shoot the fleshy portions, you'd expect it to bleed. Now, in most games, you'd shoot this metal portion, it would just bleed, because, you know, crappy materials. Oh, Quake 4 actually does it correctly. Pretty nice. I don't know. I found it kind of cool. Now we'll just trudge on. Reload everything. Does anyone else think it's a little ominous that they would just give us all that ammo? And all that health and armor? I mean, you think something bad's gonna happen. Hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get scared. There should be a console in the center of the room, Corporal Kane. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely a little worried. Something bad's gonna happen when I press that. I just know it. So let's do a little quick save. <sighs> okay, let's figure out what's gonna happen when I press the switch. Uh, okay, so far so good. Well, that's good. That means I can get the hell- oh my god. What the hell is that thing? Frankly, I don't know either. Uh, as far as I know, there's no Planet Quake listing for these things, so I'll probably have to look it up. Um, I'm gonna call them for the sake of ease, uh, let's call them a spider. Now, the spiders have a few strange moves. Nothing crazy, though. They have these plasma guns. Well, one could call them a hyper blaster, I guess. They're not very, that wasn't very fast firing. Though. Just, you know, kind of reddish shots like that. Nothing huge. They got the missiles. They got the flamethrower that they opened up with, which wasn't terribly effective. Their missiles aren't terribly effective either. They can shred us up if we manage to let them hit us, but... Doing a... Whoa. Okay, they got heat-seeking ones too, as you can see. That was no fun. Uh, let's... You know what? I've been neglecting this little guy. Let's, let's give him some go. Oh, yeah. I just love how much ammo this thing has. You just shoot it forever. This is Strauss. I have detected a tremendous large life form in your vicinity. What? You must get out of there quickly. How did you not detect this earlier? It can't be. It's the Macron. The Macron? Didn't some guy tell me on the ship that the three times that you died? Now, the Macron has some annoying, annoying attacks. Well, two as far as I know. He's got these grenade things, which are really, really damaging. And he's got this plasma, which 
can hurt us, but, you know, we just jump around. Oh my god. He's killing the shit out of us. Oh, that's it, guys. We're dead. We're officially dead. Wait. No, we're alive. Oh god. What's gonna happen to us? 